disconnected all the battery. It's no longer hooked up in any way to the car. Negative, positive, hooked up down here. You take your negative and you just put it on the body of the starter. And the uh, positive side is hooked up to uh, to the solenoid where the where the cable normally is, and you just want to make the connection between here. Some people use roach clips and stuff, but uh, if it's good, it should spark and start. But it's it's sparking, but you can see you see that spark. What that says to you is is it's getting juice, but the uh, but uh, it's not not function. You can, when it's hooked up on a car, do the same thing when you turn your key to the on position is put it to here and it'll, if it's good, it'll go. But this being as it is, this is where your, this is where your uh, deal is and you can see nothing. And you can see the spark. So what that says is, starter's bad. That's it. Uh, if it's good, uh, that's it. If it's good, it would uh, it would spin. That's it. Uh, if it spins, it's it's probably good. And if it doesn't spin, you know it's bad. So there you go. Quick way to test a starter without having to run to the auto store.